Oh dear, what is happening to Helldivers 2? Look at the state of this. The game seems to be getting more unstable, more buggy, and it is crashing again. Look at this. I mean, these question marks are just missing objects, missing textures, missing things in the game. You will see these all over the place. Now, I've seen a few of these before, but since the recent patch, there's just been more of this happening. And it's kind of like... Well, it really is immersion break. I mean, look at that. What's this? It's just a big question mark. It's like, what? What is this? Is, is it like a game show? No, it isn't. It's a missing asset from the game, which is really kind of bad. So hopefully they can fix that. However, things, well, the game is crashing. So check this out. This is from the official uh, Discord for Helldivers 2. And the community manager says, Helldivers avoid having snowball fights. We're aware of a crash caused by picking up and throwing snowballs. We hope to have this fixed in the near future. But until then, we advised against snowball throwing. Well, they advise against it, which, okay, is fair enough. It will cause a crash. This game I'm showing you here, it will crash at the end of the video. And you will be as disappointed as I am. Because we're doing quite well. We get a lot of samples, even up to that point. We're doing a lot of work. We've got a good team. Everything looks great. And then the game crashes. And it is the single worst thing in this game at the moment now there is a massive debate going on between adding more content to the game and actually fixing the game and getting rid of these bugs because it's almost like we're getting through the honeymoon period of the game where yeah we've all experienced the mad fights the mad battles the awesome explosions and now we're trying to sort of i don't know carry on with the game play the game get professional at the game you know but what's happening is the game is crashing and it's becoming more noticeable and it is becoming more like oh my god why is the game crashed so we're playing against the automatons here. Obviously, this is part of the major order. And I'm taking the laser cannon. So I'm a big fan of the laser cannon against the bots. Because if you hit them in the crit spots, you can just annihilate them. You can see I just destroyed that hulk there. Um, these guys, the devastators, ease to kill tanks or ease to kill turrets or ease to kill. I'd probably go as far as to say the auto cannon might actually be better uh, than the laser cannon. The only thing with the laser cannon is you should never, ever, ever need to reload it if you play it properly. Sometimes I reload it because I'm terrible at the game. But yeah, the thing with the auto cannon is you do need to reload, but you can reload faster if you're reloading before you completely enter the magazine. So do be aware of that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's almost as effective as a laser cannon. In fact, you can say it's probably more effective because you can blow up factories with it. So watch this. Do not take any advice off me for how to destroy <laughs> a factory with impact grenades. You're meant to aim just below the uh, the vent. And I never get this right. It's, it seems... Look, are you supposed to aim about there? But I just gave up. <laughs> I was just like, no. I'll just let somebody else do it. I'll just... I accept failure and I'll move on. Anyway, if I had the auto cannon, you could have just popped an auto cannon shell into that and destroyed it. Obviously, you can destroy stuff from range as well with the auto cannon, but you can with the laser cannon as well if it's things like, you know, um, broadcast towers and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, the debate here is the state of the game and adding new content versus actually fixing the game. Now, it seems what's happening is the more stuff they add to this game the more the game seems to break. And the worst thing is the crashes. If you get to the end of a game and it crashes, it is super gutting. Or, as in the case of this video, like I said, it will crash. Um, it, it, it basically, you're through the mission, you're having a good time. Yeah, the immersion's broken a little bit by the question marks. <laughs> but whatever, we can let that roll. But the crashing is the worst thing. You know, it's almost like little negligible issues, assets not loading in the game engine, and stuff like that. You can almost forgive them provided you can still sort of play the game. But the crashing issue is you can't. Now, of course, we're coming off the back of the arc weapons causing a crashing issue. And there is one issue, I guess, with the issue. <laughs> and that is they're literally asking the community to not use the arc weapons because they were crashing the game. Now, of course, they have fixed that, and that's been fixed um, since the beginning of this week, which is good stuff. But there was still a number of days where that wasn't fixed. And the reason for that is they cannot issue a patch change or a patch update on playstation without it going through verification on pc they could but on playstation they can't and obviously with the cross play and us all playing together it all the versions need to be the same so they're arguably just waiting for the um the update uh, to get approved now again the problem here is the same thing they're asking us to not pick up the snowballs and throw the snowballs obviously on the snow planets now this is um yeah who who will know this like very a very 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 small amount of the community is reading the discord and then slightly more i guess are watching youtube content so you may watch this video and go oh yeah i won't use the snowball but what about the millions of people that won't you know people just play games they don't go around watching tons of youtube videos like us nutters and they're definitely not making tons of youtube videos like me but you know what i mean like so it's it's a weird thing they need to be able to disable these things and, and make fixes because it's just it's going to be really frustrating 
because you could be having a great mission somebody goes to pick up a snowball it causes a crash or the game could crash for other reasons which again is an issue and as i said it's it feels like these issues are getting compounded they're getting worse as more content is being added to the game which is causing problems with stability as it's getting more complicated things are then starting to get out of hand and we're not being able to complete missions we're getting crashes we're getting bugs we're getting bug weapons bug things in the you know, everything it's just it, it, this can't carry on i think that's what i'm trying to get out here the game is still super fun don't get me wrong but i do think there is that element of we are moving out of that honeymoon period so yeah it's sort of going back into the thing of like well if the game's going to keep crashing why are players going to sit here on you know a 40 minute long mission and risk the crash yeah the game is great and i'm still going to go back and play the game i'm still going to try and do my daily order today which is kill 400 bots but i don't think i get any credit for the mission i was on right because it crashed I definitely don't get the samples. I don't get anything. I don't get any XP, nothing. I'm sure you don't, do you? You guys can correct me in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure you don't. Also, like, we found medals. We found um, super credits as well. I don't think you get any of that. You, m you may get super credits because they're added to your account straight away. But I think if the mission is just terminated, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure, though, on that one. So let's talk about the bots. Because <laughs> there's, there's some issues here with the bots, right? So uh, people go into the bots like, oh, my God, the bots are much harder than the terminates. The bots are harder than the Terminates. I'm just going to straight up say that. But I don't think they're, like, impossible. You just need to take a completely different loadout. Now, the loadout I've got here is kind of a bit of a safe loadout. I've got the shield pack and I've got the laser cannon. So all I'm thinking here is I'm just going to take out these high-value targets from range. You can see I'm trying to take the tanks out from range. I've been taking... Uh, I don't think I've taken any towers out, towers out yet, but I will do. You've seen me kill a tank. I have killed a tank with a 500 kilogram bomb. I've just destroyed that tank from range. It's very powerful. I've killed hulks as well. It's super, super powerful because it's very accurate. Now, one tip with this is to actually crouch if you need the added accuracy at range. I don't crouch all the time myself personally, but if you do need that added accuracy, then yeah, do go for it because it will give you a lot of stuff. Now, the shield generator goes without saying because things like rocket devastators and just the normal infantry with the rocket launchers, they hit you, they can kill you, right? You get hit by a tank, you'll die. You get hit by a turret, you'll die. The bots are notorious for this, so the shield generator will keep you alive. However... You can also just straight up take heavy armor that has the explosion damage resistance on it. And you can then tank a hit from a rocket or from a tank or whatever. And then you could take a backpack item. So you could maybe take a guard dog. Wouldn't recommend guard dogs against the bots because the bots are generally not close enough for the guard dogs to do anything. But you could then take the auto cannon, right? So if you've got the auto cannon with heavy armor, you can take hits. And the heavy armor's got the uh, explosion resistance. You can take direct hits with tank rockets and or tank shells and rockets and all of that stuff. And then you can put out the damage of the auto cannon. So there is an argument that that kind of build might actually be better. But there's always a trade-off here. And the trade-off is I like using the light armor because I like to move faster. Um, I sometimes use the... Uh, this has got the recon perk on it when you can ping the map and it'll do a little scan. The thing is, though, I just like the feel of running faster, and I feel like the shield generator kind of does give me that bit of space to play against the bots. Obviously, this is only really relevant on higher difficulties. If you're playing on lower difficulties, it doesn't really matter too much about getting instantly killed with the bots. But you've got to remember, the bots are all about ranged damage. They're hitting you from range, so if you're not controlling them, if you're not trying to thin them out, they can very quickly overwhelm you, especially on maps where there's not a lot of cover. This map isn't too bad for cover, but some of the maps are quite bad. Like, the bot Afghanistan we were recently playing on, there wasn't much cover there, so you were just getting annihilated. Like, you you know, a lot of fires coming in, especially on the eradication missions, where you're just getting overwhelmed by enemies. It can be quite hard. But yeah, bots are just a different thing. You just kind of need to take, I guess, weapons that are going to deal with the deadly targets, and then maybe you can clear the rest of the uh, the other bots with your primary weapons and stuff. I mean, I've still got the, uh, the sickle here, because I still think that's a pretty good weapon against them. Um, but I'm pretty confident with my loadout here. The laser cannon, like I said, could be replaced with the auto cannon. But I do like the laser cannon just for its... Um, uh, it, it, the fact you don't need to reload it, it sounds really good and it looks really good as well. Which, you know, you can't go wrong with that. So yeah, bots are not super hard. You just need to play different with the bots. And uh, once you sort of get used to that, I think it's... Yeah, it you, you can deal with the bots. Obviously, the debate of bots against Terminids is just going to go on forever. Do you like bots? Do you like bugs? personally i prefer fighting the bugs because the bugs give you that sort of um i don't know how could, well there's a tower we're going to destroy but the bots give you that sort of fantasy of waves of enemies coming towards you almost like it's a last stand and you can use the machine guns as well a lot more effectively against the bots whereas against uh, the bugs i should say but against the bots machine guns i mean i wouldn't really i wouldn't really take machine guns against them. not on harder difficulties anyway you're not going to get any sort of value there because you need the ability to kill the heavily armored stuff super fast 
And the bots generally don't have hundreds of bots running at you. You know what I mean? So you don't really need that massive AoE clear. And again, this just goes back to the auto cannon, doesn't it? Again, this is why the auto cannon is the best weapon in the game. I love it. It's my favorite weapon. But uh, you can just kill everything with it. You can kill groups of bots. You can kill tanks, towers, hulks. Just shoot them in the eye. Devastators, shoot them in the head. You know, th these walkers, you can just shoot them in the legs and they explode and die with one hit. The laser cannon's not too great against these when you're trying to burn through the front armor. It will knock them down, but then the bot will jump out the back, so you need to kill him. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still it's still effective. I think it's just you sort of trade in that accuracy and you're trading the um, potential of never reloading as compared to the auto cannon. Anyway, this is about to end this mission. So you guys have been watching this, and like you know, I've been enjoying this, playing it, I'm having a good time. There's a tank. Let's destroy the tank. And uh, yeah, it's all going well. I don't even know what happened in the game crashed. And yeah, it's sad times. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I'll catch you on the next video. See you soon.